The Honorable Denise Lynn Napier is the first African-American woman to hold the office of state treasurer in the United States and the only woman to be elected treasurer in our state's history. With a penchant for truth-telling, she has tackled tough issues directly and devoted her career to protecting Connecticut's treasury while advocating for financial integrity and personal responsibility. Born in Hartford, Connecticut in 1951, Denise's drive to excel was formed at an early age. I believe that, that my interest in competition has something to do with my birth, uh, because I am a triplet. We were constantly being compared, and I think that sort of set the framework for my interest to be competitive at everything I did. Denise grew up in the north end of Hartford with her architect father, who had served as a Tuskegee Airman, her educator mother, three sisters, and younger brother. Denise and her sisters, Diane and Donna, helped pioneer women's high school athletics at Hartford Public High School before Title IX guaranteed participation for women. The girls were on their school's first gymnastic team and its first track and field team. And I dreamed about going to high school and being a cheerleader, and that's precisely what we did. All three of us did. Gymnastics, basketball, you name it. I mean, whatever extracurricular activities there were. We thrived off, off of competing and being number one at whatever we did. After graduating from high school in 1969, Denise went on to earn her BA degree from Virginia State University in 1973 and her master's degree in city planning from the University of Cincinnati before returning to her hometown. After working in the Hartford City Manager's Office and the Connecticut State Office of Policy and Management, Denise served as Executive Director of Riverfront Recapture in Hartford for five years, developing the blueprint for the reclamation and restoration of the Connecticut Riverfront. Never afraid of a new challenge, Denise set her sights on the job of Hartford City Treasurer, winning her first political race in 1989. I wasn't surprised that she landed in public office. I think Denise has always tried to present herself in a way that, you know, I want to be a public servant, I don't want to be a politician. As city treasurer, Ms. Napier proved to be a prudent investor, using her sound judgment to help the city council balance the budget, cut taxes, and fully fund the state pension fund. She had a great record as Hartford City Treasurer, not just in good results, but also being present, being part of people's lives, being part of what was happening in Hartford, encouraging the best in Hartford. With 10 years of experience as city treasurer, Ms. Napier made her next goal the nomination for Connecticut state treasurer. I ran for state treasurer because I thought the voters wanted someone who put a premium on integrity and high ethical standards. I never realized until after I was elected that I would become the first African-American female to be elected state treasurer in not only Connecticut history, but U.S. history. Denise entered office at a period of huge challenge, almost chaos, in the treasurer's office. And so her first task was really to recreate credibility and order in an office that was in shambles because of corruption and incompetence. And Denise was a shining star, a beacon of hope and credibility and integrity. I am the custodian of uh, roughly $50 billion. And it's my job, first and foremost, to safeguard and grow those assets on behalf of our state government and taxpayers. Having been elected to four consecutive terms, Treasurer Napier has made important reforms to Connecticut's system of pension fund governance, eliminating influence peddling. She has also been a long-standing advocate of high standards for corporate accountability, promoting greater regulatory oversight, responsible corporate behavior, and shareholder rights. In 2003, she launched and co-chaired the first-ever Institutional Investor Summit on Climate Risk, held at the United Nations. We want our portfolio companies to be good corporate citizens. We have been able to show when you pay attention to corporate governance, when you pay attention to, to in, environmental and social factors, when you pay attention to board diversity, that strengthens a company and ensures its sustainability out into the future. 
Denise has given new meaning to the word proactive when it comes to investment strategy on the part of public officials. She is tremendously widely regarded around the whole country. Treasurer Napier has been the catalyst for promoting financial literacy, made improvements to the Connecticut Higher Education Trust, helping families save for college, pushed for diversity in corporate boardrooms, and created more opportunities for minority-owned businesses. What motivates Denise, I think, is a desire to do the best in her own accomplishments, but also enable other people particularly women, to do their best, whether it's in investing or professional life or elective office. She is there to help people and give back. Treasurer Napier has been honored with many community, distinguished service, and human rights awards, as well as being named one of the 50 most powerful black women in business. It's been my goal from day one to manage the state's financial resources in a manner that allows more of us to climb the ladder of success as high as our talent, dedication, and energy will take us, that harnesses fairness and justice for all people. Denise has made it because of her work ethic, because she's relentless and tireless in caring for people, working and advocating for them, fighting for better results for the Treasury, but also better results for individual human beings.